Welcome to Zach, episode four, Bamboo Eats. And today's gonna be an amazing episode. We got some of my world famous potato salad, and we're gonna have some original recipe Spanish flavored chicken. Uh, it's gonna be really great. You guys are gonna love it. And using my favorite pepper today, poblanos. So uh, I'm gonna get these potatoes on boil, and I'll see you guys in a few. Bamboo Eats. All right, so you're gonna marinate this chicken real quick. And this is, uh, it's a little extra step, but it's a very important step that I like to go by. So what we're gonna do is uh, start out with our vegetables first. So I'll take uh, this tomatoes. This is about a half a tomato and you don't really have to cut it up in particularly uh, any fancy way. As you see, this is all, you know, blocked up. Right here, this is our green bell peppers. We got our purple or red onions, whichever one you prefer. Just throw it on top of the platter, get it all mixed. Next, we got our poblano peppers, and these are amazing. I mean, just the smoke flavor that comes out of them. It's, it's just great. Red bell peppers, throw that on top. All right, it's almost looking like a pizza right now, as you see. And just take our minced garlic, all right, and just take all of that. All right, what we're gonna do, just, just put it all like that. And just take a little bit of olive oil, all right? And you're just gonna put this out of the way. And just drizzle it lightly, not too much. You don't wanna soak it, all right? With that olive oil, you just put it all together, let it sit. So what we're gonna do is take this little medley right here, and look how beautiful it is. Look at these colors. Check this out, look at the colors. What we're gonna do is take that medley, and I'm gonna put it in the broiler. And I'm gonna broil it for about, I would say five, five to seven minutes. And what you want is like, little blackness on it, the skin is starting to crisp and the olive oil is gonna help it do that. So let me grab a mitt real quick and throw this in the broiler. All right, so looks like our uh, vegetables are roasted. So I'm about to pull them out. Whoa, you smell nice. You see, and this is exactly what you want. You just kind of want the skins and the, um, the end pieces a little burnt. So what I'm gonna do is just put this in this little neutral bullet and just take all the ingredients. Right now it's just so flavorful. It's like roasted vegetables. I mean, that's exactly what it is. Kind of remind me of like the Chinese store to be quite honest. Just get all of this up in here. Get that garlic as much as you can since it's minced. All right, so I'm just gonna pour the rest of this in here. Try to keep that oil well. So this point is where you throw in your cilantro. You don't wanna roast the cilantro though. Here's my ingredients. So what I'm gonna do, just a couple of shakes of salt. See, just a couple of shakes, not too much. Just a little bit of pepper. Right. Throw this top on this and I'll tell you, my little neutral bullet machine be giving me a run for my money, so don't make fun of me if I have a little trouble, okay? Check this out. Let me shake this. Let me shake this. Look at that. Man. That's all flavor right there, all right? So what you're gonna do is I'll take a little piece of chicken breast. Alright, these already been washed, the fat's been trimmed. And we're just gonna throw these in here. Alright, and just take this whole thing, and just pour it. Let it sit. We're just gonna let these marinate. And I'm gonna let this marinate for about 45 minutes. Just gonna cover this, throw it in the refrigerator, and um, we'll be ready to cook it shortly after that. I'm gonna go check on my potatoes. The water's boiling. Uh, potatoes, what you want is them to be soft. You see what I'm saying? It's just soft enough you can just stick a, a fork through it and pull out, no problem. All right, when we get there, I'll see you in a bit. All right, let's get this chicken marinated. All right, so 
So how we gonna do the chicken, all right? We finally here. It's been marinated for about 45 minutes. It smells great. All right, so I just uh, took some extra virgin olive oil, uh, put it around in the pan, and uh, we're gonna place the chicken. All right. all right. Take these three pieces and kind of keep them a little bit separate from each other as much as you can. All right. Now think about when you um, doing chicken or anything, if you crowd the pan, it's not gonna brown. Crowding is the opposite of browning. So give your chicken some space and we're just gonna let it uh, brown on one side first. And just smell those flavors coming at us right now. I mean, this is gonna pair really well with the potato salad on the side. Simple meal, you know, nice little lunch, maybe a dinner, you know, I don't know. It's however you wanna do with it. And it's just browning it. Got it up a little high right now. And you want to do is, um, you don't want to really uh, turn it but once each side. So this is not something uh, you want to keep turning back and forth. So you let this sit there and um, if you could see, it'll start whitening. All right, like you can see right there, it's starting to white and that means it's cooking. So when it's, you know, whitening and cooking like that, you kind of want it to get about a quarter up and that's when you know your chicken is starting to cook, all right? So let's just keep going. All right. Man. Let me just take a sneak peek. You see what's happening? It's cooking. It's cooking. It's coming along. So chicken's a little browned on one side. So what we're going to do is we're going to flip. See that? It's nice. All right. So we flip it one time. And I'm going to let it just uh, cook on this side for about 30 seconds, you know. And what I'm going to do is, see, I took that little marinade, right? and the marinade was a bit thick. So you just add a little bit of water, not much at all. I would say maybe like a shot glass worth of water. Just throw it in there, mix it up. All right, so we got about 10 more seconds left. You know, so look at that, man. It's just, it just looks beautiful already. All right, so now this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just take the rest of this and pour it in here, you see? rest of that right and just right make sure you get that all up in there the flavors what I do now I just take that I sit this on top and I'm gonna let that cook for a good 10 minutes all right when that's done it's gonna be juicy on the inside nice and dark on the outside real flavorful Pairing that with the potato salad. So while we let this cook and simmer for a little bit, I'm gonna turn this heat to about medium because you have the top on. And uh, we're gonna get to our potato salad. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the potatoes outside of the uh, refrigerator. I have to cool them off a little bit and grab the rest of my ingredients and I'll meet you over at my station, all right? See you in a second. Yeah. So we back, got the potatoes outside of the refrigerator. You wanted them to cool down a little bit. Now key, as you can see, I left a little bit of skin on the potatoes. Key reason is nutrients in that skin. Healthy, eating, all right? Another thing with the t uh, potatoes, you notice I didn't dice them all up into perfect cubes. I kind of just boiled them so you could put a um, nice little fork through them and just mash it all up, like just, just like that, all right? So now we got it the way I want it. I start adding some of the ingredients, all right? So, what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna start with the red onions. I like red onions in my potato salad. You can put white onions, it's just, this is, adds a little bit more sweeter and crisp taste to it. All right, so that's about a quarter of an onion for this. Got some uh, red bell pepper. I'm gonna throw that up in there also. All right, we just, I'm gonna mix those a little bit before I keep going. And this brings some nice, beautiful color to this potato salad. You know, it's one thing to have your food taste good. You also want to look good. You know, people like seeing good food. And, you know, and that's what brings people to the restaurants. That's what brings people, you know, to want to try your food. Make it look good. All right, you see that? So mix that up a little bit, all right? So what I'm going to do is take a little bit of this pepper. Throw that in there. Nice. Salt. Throw that in there. This is garlic powder. And I'm not gonna put, just throw it in there like that. I'll leave a little bit out, all right? 
and this is my uh, celery seeds. And um, if you don't want to use celery seeds, you could actually chop up celery stalk and just throw it in there too. But I just like the kick that the celery seeds give. It's just a little bit more flavor, just blasting, you know. And then you just mix that up a little bit. It's, so you see, I mix all my dry ingredients for the most part first, except for paprika, because that's the last step for this, all right? So, here it goes. One and a half cups of mayo. Ugh. Get all of that in there. Make sure you get your... All right, another half cup of mayo. What we're gonna do, let me get the rest of that out the half cup. All right, now this, it's a little hassle, you know. You gotta have a little muscle for this part, to be honest with you. You just mix that all together, uh, bring that in. Okay. Yeah, like I said, this ain't the prettiest part. But there's some damn good potato salad, I'll tell you that much. So we got the mayonnaise mixed up a bit. Take about a third of a cup of some mustard and throw that in there also. Mustard bring a nice little tang. Got a little mustard on my hand right here. I'm gonna get that cleaned up in a bit. Like you said, we just still mixing, still mixing. So we're getting all that together. And as you see, it's starting to really come together. Okay. All right. That going, and then we just throw our sweet relish. Make sure you get sweet relish, not dill relish. Sweet, it's just essential for this recipe. All right, you got a lot of um, seasoning in this recipe, so you wanna add your sweet. And we take this relish and we blend it up also. And what I'm going to do real quick is I got some eggs boiled I'm gonna chop them up, throw this in there real quick, and I'll be right back, get my eggs real quick. So I added the chopped up eggs in the mix and uh, mix it all up now. So the last step for this potato salad is simple. You just take this paprika and you just sprinkle it. You know, just different spots, just like that. No need to mix, it's mostly just for presentation. Red marks, that's about it right there. So what I'm gonna do right now is uh, I'm gonna get my chicken, get the potato salad, I'm gonna plate up and we're gonna have a guest come through and taste it. Smelling good and looking good. So just gotta see the final test. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plate real quick and I'll meet you guys here in just a few minutes, all right? Another day, another great meal. Uh, it just smells great, man. I, I can't wait to dig into myself. But before I do, I have a special guest. Great friend of mine right now. She's about to pop. So we're going to feed her and feed the babies inside, okay? Sophia, come on. All right, so here's some potato salad. Let's try it. All righty. Don't tell me twice. Do I do it together? I'm going to you. Phenomenal. It's good. I can take it? Yeah, you can take it. Okay, thank you. Hey, you heard it there, man. <laughs> Another great day. Bamboo Eats. Make sure you check us out. We got some more dishes coming. Check the previous videos that we had before. And the uh, ingredients and uh, everything, you know, the measurements for all the ingredients is in our description. All right, so make sure you like the page, like the DMS page, and I'll see you guys next week. Peace. <laughs>